Hi guys, and welcome to the grinding tip episode. I know this, this I promised to do this, but I thought I'd show it off. Some of you have been asking how to grind, and I thought I'd give a hand to people who need some, who want to know. I think I phrased that wrong. Anyway, we're gonna cover a few things first. One, Flan. She is competent on my team. Well, there's two ways you can go with Flan. One is to go Archer, because she has an A-class in Arching rank, but I went for Mage. The only flaw can be a mage is if you give her apprentices. You see here her apprentices. See, what you do is you put an apprentice next to a master on a field, and the master can cast a spell. And when the master reaches rank one, they learn the spell. That's basically it. Okay, other than that, let's go into the grinding tipping tips. First off, I gotta get a rank one character. Don't worry, I already prepared for this. We're gonna transmigrate Yuffie here. Where's Yuffie? Yuffie? Yep, there you are. To his newest rank, which is Prowler. Skilled. And... Yuffie. Like, why are you every transmigrating everyone? Because I haven't got around to it yet. Now, Yuffie is now transmigrated to his max rank. This will be quite easy. Another good tip is this. Get a character to the rank 4, which I already got Rick to it, and do a triple experience. This will allow the first enemy you kill to get a triple experience. If you can get them to vote on it, that is. Like that! Oh my god! It took me like forever to get that before. I kept having to save, save and quit, save and quit to do it. Now that I got it, okay. Another thing you do is you gotta ditch all the equipment off, get your best equipment, which I put all on the Harl, and put in the character you want to level up. I went right past him, didn't I? Yeah, he doesn't move. There you do that. And he has a lot more stats, but not the best. The way you get mo see all that good equipment, like you're wondering where I get it, I get it from the hospital. Whenever you heal up a number of times, you get, you eventually you can get a prize. Eh, this one doesn't keep logs, but it'll eventually give you prizes, and that's where I get most of my good equipment. Most of my orbs and my uh, Rip Lark Rosary, Devil's Ring, and Feather Token all came from the hospital. Another good place to go is the item world. When you do it, the best thing you can do is do Geo Shifts. See, the Geo Change Wipe with the, with the Fenrir will get you the orbs. Will get you a lot of bonuses, and most of the bonuses are experience. If you're afraid that your character's too weak, just have them out there when the orbs go on a blank space, and that way they get the free experience. Another good way to grind up is to have characters next to each other. If you're scared that a character's not strong enough to beat an enemy, put a stronger enemy character next to it, and they'll split the experience. It's not all for one, but... It gets a weaker character some a little boost. That's how I got these weak old token healers to this level. But I'm not gonna waste that triple experience. That triple experience is very, very good. Because simply speaking, that triple experience means it will be really effective on the area I'm going to. Also, if you have a hard time like going to the area I'm going to, just pound up your character with a bunch of items and take him to Daenerys Palace. I'll show you which level. I'm not gonna go there because it'll be a waste of the experience I just got. Air Palace, Flashy Passage. There's a whole bunch of level 4 brawlers here. They're very easy to beat up. Put one on each end. Put one character you want to level up on each end of the space and put up a healer in the middle. Then you can keep healing them over and over again. Saves you a lot of time and effort. But we're going to Jotunheim to Terrible Cold. You're thinking, wait, why is this a good place to grind? Well, it's very simple. This is Invincible territory. Okay, let's get out one Yuffie and one Flan. Flaw is good to experience grind because... Wait, let's check the bonus. Only hell, okay. Because when you have her out, it is very... Because she won't counter move. Counter moving is probably the most annoying thing that can happen during this place. Because if your character is accidentally counter, then you lose everything. But the reason I brought Flawn is for her Braveheart. I'll use Braveheart on Yuffie and get his attack way up. First, you gotta throw and stack all these enemies to the top of each other. 
It's not that hard, and it's very easy to understand. When you stack an enemy, their attack, their levels combine to make them higher level. And the higher your level of enemy, the more experience you get. And with that triple experience thing going on, I'm not killing any of them. Which means I'll kill the one who's left, which means I'll get all that experience for Yuffie straight, straight out. So basically, what ha the highest level you can get here with all the combined enemies is level 112. Which means you'll have 112 experience from the enemy you kill times 3. That is just great. And you're worried, well, what about the future? What about when you get past this level? It's simple. There's a good uh, few grinding spots later on. Like in the zombie or place where you fight the zombies, there's that 100 experience thing. It's not the best, but it's okay. The next place is probably coming up in the next episode after this one. Because... It has a spot for where I got Laharl really high, where you can grind up sword users. But only sword users, sadly. No one else grinds up there. Sword users and magic users, but no one else can. If you wonder what I mean, I'll show you then. Because it's pretty fun. So Yuffie, when he gets enough sword skill, will definitely be able to level up there, but... Until then, you just gotta deal with this. Because this is a really good place to level up, and it makes a lot of sense. Because once you, uh, if you get to a certain point, you can actually raise the level of this area using that in the Dark Assembly, allowing your characters to grind on higher enemies, and then you just do the same process. It's simple as cake. So yeah, this is the best place for if you do the triple experience kind of thing, because this only you only kill one enemy. <laughs> the place I'm gonna show you later, which won't be in this bonus thing, but it'll probably be in the main episode, will well basically be much easier to understand and be a lot faster. But it only works for the sword users. Once you get them get them the attack. Well, what was the attack? A wing, wind slash, or one with, that has the three square, three square attack. Oh, I kept my abilities. Like, why can't monsters just keep their abilities when you transmigrate? Oh, it's because you transmigrate to a different monster. Gotcha. No, wait, no, they don't. I didn't keep zombie puke. Yeah, when Ben transmigrated to new Ben, he didn't zombie puke anything. Fear the green! I am now Yuffie. The power of Link compels you! <laughs> the blue-haired Link! Everyone thought Link was Zelda. How much damage do you do? Do nothing! 260 attack? Yeah, it's not going to do much. Okay, you're weak to fire, so let's uh, Mega Fire him a couple times. That reason of Rufflon, she will whittle him down for us. Once again, low enough, I can just Hurricane Slash him. Hurricane Slash will always hit and always do damage. It won't miss. Well, okay, it will miss, but it will do a lot more damage than what his base stats can do right now. I'll do an example here, watch. See, 41. That's not enough to do anything real good, but it will get him through the next... It will probably kill this person once we get them below 100 attack. Especially if I start doing Braveheart. Which will practically I'll start doing that now. Once you get high enough levels and good enough characters, this becomes a lot faster. I remember when I first started doing this a while back. It took forever because everyone was like really low level, and this was 112 we're talking about. And you don't get any experience. You don't get the hospital bills from this place either, so that kind of sucks. So. Kind of goes against that whole plan. See, it missed. Like I said, it doesn't always hit. Or did I just attack and not use Hurricane Slash? Well, she did counter. Oh, I just attacked. My bad. Bravehearting actually comes in handy here, because. Yeah. Yeah, Hurricane Slash is still level 3. There. 
Let's see what 112 gets you. 100, usually, that place would get a normal rank character up to level, uh, from 15 to level 29 or something. Let's see what Triple Experience does. Triple Experience gets you up to 36. Yeah. And that's an easy way to grind. I hope this video helped a few out, a few of you guys out who need some help playing this game or some easy tips on how to grind up. Remember to like on Instagram, join the series of Disgaea, and catch you on the in the actual next episode. Toodles!